So you're actually kind of cute in a... Hello? He's over there. I don't know, not really comfortable, like, I don't know how the people been driving in that time. Because it's it's made like, uh, <laughs> look at this, it's really old, it's off <laughs> and... But I would like to try that on the road, but we have no key, so we cannot get out from here. <laughs> yeah, I saw the Stalin cars, it's really good, like, uh, it's really, like, scared of me. Big, like, doors and really from the poles and bombs protecting. But it's okay, like good music, first time here and really enjoying. This is the fastest 9080 diesel engine car or something like that. And I'm sitting in, but probably the roof wouldn't shut because I'm too tall. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Last weekend in Teuschental, it was a pretty amazing day for Evgeny Bobrashev. Now, Evgeny, looking back, it was a week ago now. How do you feel about it? Uh, it's good. It was really good. Like, I still still thinking about this. You know, you sh I should forget and just concentrate for another race. But uh, I still was amazing, like, uh, win. So I was, I'm still happy, you know. <laughs> but I not celebrate after the race, so maybe I do. Really, it was amazing for Germany because I don't like the track. And uh, it went really great. And uh, now, like, uh, Kegel is one of my best track. And uh, I hope I can do better than last year. Really. It was great to see you back racing because obviously you've had a tough year, you've had injury, but you're now back, you're racing and you've had a couple of good races. Yeah, um, in the beginning of season I uh, broke my ankle and then missed uh, loads of GPs and uh, yeah, this the Latvia will be third GP since my comeback. And Theoretically, your speed is actually. Are you pleased with how your speed is? <coughs> yeah, I'm. I'm happy with my speed. You know, just need to get the good starts, and then I could run with the top ten guys it's no easier. Mistakes. Yeah, no mistakes, no crashes. Stay on the bike and finish the races. And when I had the injury, I lost my fitness a little bit, and uh, now everything comes back together, and uh, hopefully. Should be a good weekend. taste of what else you can get up to in Riga in Latvia but we're going to get back to the important stuff back to the track and back to the motocross with an onboard lap with Mattis Cauro. It's really tough! Start straight here at Kegums is around about 75 metres long into a 180 degree right hand turn. Going to be difficult to break under the Monster Energy Bridge into the first four waves. That will sort the riders out. And then we head through turn two uphill over the first major tabletop on this circuit, about 20 metres long. And then we have this fast left sweeping turn. 
where you can rail around the outside and then we hit the Monster Energy tabletop jump again, about 25 meters long, continuing through the left-hander, through three massive waves. It's gonna be difficult to keep momentum through there, but the riders will manage it somehow. Then we hit this first speed jump, landing in what will be very hard braking bumps into that next right-hand turn. Over the Tekka step-up jump into turn seven which is a 180 degree left-hand turn. There's a new double jump there, nothing major to talk about, but just something else on this circuit. Then we have the first of the two tabletop jumps, the second one, the shorter of the two, before we sweep through turn eight, the uphill wave section through the left-hand turn. And there will be one or two fun and games through there. Of that, I am pretty confident. Then we hit this turn nine, the left-hander at the top of the hill before dropping down over the triple step down. And this is the run into the Monster Energy finishing line jump. We have a jump here on that right-hand turn. And then there is that Monster Energy finish line jump. Then we hit this right and left combination of turns that takes us down pit lane on the exit of this left-hander. And it's very long, very fast, and will get very bumpy as the weekend wears on. As we get to the end of pit lane straight, we have this mogul offset, a bit of a camber from right to left. And then we hit this floating camelback jump into a 180 left switchback. Then we hit that jump in the opposite direction to go into a 180 degree switchback right. We go over another camelback into a right hand up around about now and then we have what used to be a step down tabletop now it's just uh, a tabletop jump into the penultimate corner the right hander under the rebootizer bridge it used to be waves here but now it's a double and a single into the final turn